All right, so you're going to be installing Storm Shade. It is an alternative to G Shade, but it is a bit outdated. And the last update was pushed through in 2019. It still has an unlocked depth buffer for the Z axis, so if you'd still like to use it, that's great. It actually doesn't require a application install. You just drag and drop, so it may be a little bit simpler to use, but Newer versions of G-Shade use newer versions of Reshade, which can support just better and newer presets and shaders alongside the compatibility to even use RTGI. So use this if you're just a bit lazy and if you don't really feel like installing a different app on top of your Final Fantasy 14. Again, drag and drop. It just works. So we're going to go into the top here, click on how to install, and you're going to go to prerequisites. I'm going to click on these two. This can take you to the Microsoft website. You're going to download, download some DirectX runtimes and this other one. Close those, open up your downloads folder. You're going to have to run this as admin. And hit yes. And Go to sec and yeah, browse. You're going to be installing this in your C drive, Windows, System 32. C Windows System 32. Hit OK. I've already installed it, but I'm just going to install it anyways. Just hit yes to all and open up this other DirectX web setup. Hit I agree. Don't install Bing Bar. It may give you this because you might already have DirectX 12 installed or already existing pre-installation of DirectX 11. So you're just going to hit finish. So you're going to go back to here. You're going to click on download. Go to code. Click on download zip. Go into your downloads folder once more. Into the stormshade master.zip. Extract. Now inside this folder, you're gonna have these four files, hit on 4.x, and you're gonna have your folders that you're gonna drop into your Final Fantasy 14 game folder. So the default location is C, Program Files 86, where Enix, Final Fantasy 14, Realm of Born, game. So you're gonna take these three files, drop them in, and you're going to do some changes to your executables. You're going to go into boot, Final Fantasy 14 boot.exe, properties, compatibility, set to run as admin, Final Fantasy 14 launcher.exe, compatibility, run as admin. And then you're going to do that same process for Final Fantasy 14.exe, run as admin. Now you're going to actually just launch the game. Okay, my screen's going to go dark here. I got to get my login details. All right. So you're going to go into this little settings cog, and you're going to click on DirectX 11 support. Make sure that it's enabled. It's probably already enabled for you. Regardless, just make sure this is on. Now you're going to actually launch the game. You're going to have this little menu up here at the top. And if you hit your home key, you're going to be brought up with your reshade menu just to make sure it works. But we don't have any shaders installed, so we are going to fix that. So make sure that you close out of this menu so you can actually use your mouse again. We're going to close the game. Now go into your Final Fantasy 14 game folder, reshade shaders, shader library, go to recommended. Just take all of these FX files and copy them into your shaders folder. And you're going to go back, shader library alternate, just copy and paste all of these shaders and paste. Most presets will include the shaders that they are going to use, but some shaders do not. But most presets are just going to be using 
the recommended and the alternate shaders unless they feel like creating their own, which is a whole other thing. So this should do you good for the most part. We're gonna go back to here. Now we can actually load a preset. Go to the side, presets. We're gonna pick one here. There's quite a few to choose from. We'll just click on Witch's Moon. Make sure it says reshade 4.x, hit download preset. Go to this folder and you're gonna extract this. And as you can see, we have this reshade shaders file, which contains the shaders. And you're going to take this file and you're going to copy paste it into your Final Fantasy 14 game folder. It's going to merge these. There's probably going to be some overlapping, but the same shaders. Just hit yes when it says you want to overwrite for all of them. Your I and I should be in the base game folder. And you're going to launch Final Fantasy 14 one more time. I'm going to hide my screen once more. Okay, so we're going to hit play. Let it do its thing. And we are going to actually load into the... Uh, the game here. Hopefully I get a short queue time. Guess not. Didn't take too long. Gonna do this in real time. Longest minute of my life. There we are. Okay. Now, once you are in your game, you're going to click on your home button again, and you should have a bunch of shaders loaded up for you to use. So now you're going to open up the INI preset file, and it should load all of the shaders automatically, and they should be applied right on top of your game. Now, depending on the preset you use, it could drastically change what the game looks like. Some people have different monitors. Some people have different preferences. We are going to show you how to actually adjust the game to something that you'd more like. So you're going to click on one of these files here. If you're not an expert into which files to edit, I'd look up some of these terms. Like if you don't know what MXL means or stuff like FXAA or chromatic aberration or lens flare, depth of field, lens bloom, stuff like that. Just Google it and there should be some pretty good examples here. So let's say we want to edit the color saturation. So you can just enable and disable stuff so you can find what does what. So there you go. So we're going to mess with this Lightroom. If you click on it and just click on it again to enable it, you should get some sliders here. And there's just a whole bunch of variables that you can change. So if I want, I can change black levels. So if I want the game to be dark for some reason, you can do that. Or if you want the game to be a little bit brighter, basically bake it, then you can do that as well. Um, oh God, I absolutely screwed it, didn't I? Bring that back down, bring that a little bit there, bring that to back to 255. There we are. Okay. So vignette, you can mess with stuff like this and you can do like inner vignette, probably outer vignette. Vignette with. Some things just don't work. So you kind of just click around to find what works. We should get some ambient occlusion somewhere if I sit next to over here, zoom in on something. Very minor, very minor. Again, if you don't know what to do, 
don't mess with these sliders and just keep clicking on presets until you really kind of find what works for you. It's all personal preference. As you can see, you can get some pretty intense depth of field. I don't know if you'd like that, but you can do that. That's basically it. There's not much else to do other than finding the shaders and the presets and the variable sliders that you like to use.